Wilkins throws it ahead. It's deflected by Watson, but Norcross saves it. Now here's Charlton down the lane. Charlton right-handed layup is good. So a great job by Norcross breaking the press, and Verone Charlton finishes with the right-handed layup. It was Killian who got it. Now here comes Watson outside Romano. Deep corner three is good. Taylor Romano with a deep three ball. Buford back in front. And now Lickens to get across half court. Now Aikens flying down the lane. Nice move. Layup doesn't go. Charlton is there for the follow-up, though, with the layup and the putback all in one motion. She's got all of Norcross's early points. Play each other out. Ledford lobs it in. It's caught by Corin Killian. Killian up top to Watson. Watson goes left down the lane. Adjusts in midair. Changes hands and lays it in. Ava Grace Watson with a beautiful move to put Buford back in front, six to four. He caught by Peterson. Now they work it around to Akins. Akins goes baseline. Nice move in the right-handed finish for Janaya Akins, the junior. And that makes it eight to six. Basket. Ava Grace Watson crosses over on the outside, kicks it outside. Betty Wynn, corner three is good. Ava Grace Watson sucked the defense in with the crossover, and Betty Wynn finishes it off with the three. It's eleven to six, Buford. Race ahead, but she doesn't have help. She gets it outside. Watson, catch and shoot three is no good. And the rebound down to Norcross. But they throw it away. It's picked up by Wynn. Layup for Wynn is good. And a foul. Betty Wynn came out of nowhere to steal a ball for the second time in the last 12 seconds. Goes down, lays it up good, plus the foul. And down the lane, gliding layup hit the side of the backboard. And the rebound down to Norcross. Long look ahead pass is caught. And Charles way ahead of the floor and lays it in with the left hand good. Three, so we'll see if there are more of those opportunities coming. Oh, Norcross has a girl out ahead of the pack. They drive down, lay it up and in with the left hand. That's Markeisha Lancaster, number 25, who just checked into the game, a sophomore forward. Now here's Romano with it in the corner for Buford as they go quickly. Romano up top to Green. Green drives left and has the ball stripped. It's loose. It's picked up by Norcross on the run. They get out ahead of the pack, and Verone Charlton drives down, lays it in with the right hand, and we got a one-point game, 13-12. Round five to go. Up top, Romano, catch and shoot three. No good. Rebound, Norcross. And that is going to be the end of the first quarter. And we've got a good one brewing here in the Class 7A semifinals at Georgia State University in Atlanta. Buford leading Norcross 13-12 to here on North Georgia's News Talk FM 102.9 WDUN. Here early. Corin Killian has it outside. Ava Grace Watson, catch and shoot three. That's good. So Ava Grace Watson missed a few threes early, but she knocks that one down. She's got 10 points, and Buford's back in the lead. Aikens, Aikens cross courts it out there. Catherine Seide going to put up a three from the left corner, and it's good. Catherine Seide has been quiet, the junior, and she knocks down a three there to cut into the Buford lead. Throwing it to Izzy Redinger. Redinger hands it off to Watson. Watson down the lane, pull up right. Handed floater is good. I tell you, that, that pull up floater from her is, man, this is deadly. Offensive rebound, though. Outside, Verone Charlton drives, kicks it outside. Janaya Aikens for three. It's good. So Norcross hitting enough threes to hang around. This time it's Aikens with the three, and Buford won't get a shot up before the end of the half. So at the halftime break, we still got a tight ball game here in the Class 7A semifinals. Buford leading Norcross 29-26 to at the halftime break. Two, win with one, win. Turns around, shot blocked and taken away by Norcross. Lady Blue Devils come the other way with Janai Aikens. Down the lane, beautiful pass, and a layup is going to be good for Verone Charles. We've got a high school three-point line and a college three-point line, and I'll tell you, I think all the players are shooting off that college line. I wonder if it's not messing with their heads a little bit. Now here's a skip pass down the lane, a beautifully executed play for Norcross, a layup for Cadence Peterson, and Norcross is in, in the lead now, 30-29. to 29. To Lindsay, it got deflected, but it comes out. Now here's Aikens out from the perimeter for three, no good. Rebound tipped around, it's taken by Norcross, and they get the lay-in to go. Verone Charlton this time with the putback. Win comes right, win out in the corner now to Ledford. Ledford lost the ball, and Norcross dives on it. They've got it, and Aikens has tried to save it. She threw it right away to Izzy Redinger. Redinger to a wide open. Ava Grace Watson for a left-handed layup. That's just like Coach Durden drew it up. There. Now here comes Aikens with it. Aikens pull up, two-point jumper, left side, no good. They get the rebound, though, and the putback is there for Lindsay. Right now the difference in the second half is Norcross they're being aggressive on the glass and getting extra opportunities. Wynn dribbling around, kicks it outside in the corner. Here's Kirby Wallace. Tried to throw it across the paint. It's stolen by Norcross. Here come the Lady Blue Devils on the road. Aikens, skip pass. Oh, beautiful behind the back pass. And Verone Charlton lays it in with the left hand. And timeout, Gene Durden and Buford, as it has been all Lady Blue Devils here in this third quarter. They've opened up a six-point lead, 37-31. Romano dribbling around, throws it. Great cut by Watson. Oh, a beautiful skip pass. Corin Killian with a wide open layup. Good with the left hand. Well, that was really nice because she drew two defenders, cutting to the block, and then she bounced past through the two defenders to kill him for the layup. 
Here comes Norcross down the lane, and a layup is going to be good. They answer right back with Janaya Akins. Romano in trouble. She's tangled up. She throws it to Wynn. Wynn has it now. And Ava Grace Watson puts up a three at the buzzer. No good. And that's the end of the third quarter. Buford will trail by six as we head to the fourth. 41-35, Norcross in front here in the 7A semifinals on WDUN. It's totally controlled by the Lady Blue Devils. Here's Ava Grace Watson for Buford. Watson pulls up, shoots a long three ball, and got it to fall. Ava Grace Watson with a big three-pointer. Caster, now they go left side to Charlton, throw it down to the low block. Now they kick it up top to Lancaster. Now they go right side to Lindsay, back to Lancaster for three, and it's good. And Marquisha Lancaster just answers back with a big three. Wynn dribbling around. Now Wynn gets some space right side. Floater banked in good for Betty Wynn. That was a big one. Yep, that was a nice move, and I really like so many kids would take it on in there and try to shoot over the big. She pulled up. Nice kiss off the glass. One of them will go in. Here's Norcross. Oh, they've got a wide open three. Verone, Charlton, and it's good. And you felt like that was coming because Buford's had so many good opportunities, and finally Norcross cashes in with a three. It's a seven-point game by Cadence Peterson. Now they get it back to Akins. Oh, my gosh, they've got a girl wide open ahead of the floor again, and Lancaster lays it in with the right hand. With 53 seconds left, and we're going to get a foul on Buford with 52.6. And this is going to be a one-and-one one coming, and the Norcross fans are all on their feet here at the Georgia State University Convocation Center as they're smelling a trip to the state championship game next Saturday night. Points quickly. Watson comes left side, dribbles into the lane, puts up a floater. It goes in good. Quick timeout for Gene Durden and Buford. Watson's got 25 points. It's a seven-point game with 40 seconds left. Buford inbounds it to Watson. It's a 12-point game. Watson dribbling around, crosses over. Watson pulls up for three, top of the key. It's no good, out of bounds. Three seconds left, two seconds left, and they stop the clock as it goes out of bounds, and all Norcross will have to do is inbound it here, and they will head to the state title game. They get it in, and this one is over, and the Norcross Lady Blue Devils are advancing to the state championship game as they knock off Buford by a final of 58-46. to We'll take a break, come back, and recap this one. You're listening to High School Basketball on WDUM.